Hello everybody, my name is Will Carmack and in today's After Effects tutorial I will be showing you how to linear wipe between a day and night scene that you shot on a drone. My most notable moment of doing this is when I shot a music festival in Norway called Stavern Festivalen and I filmed this ferris wheel during the day and at night. And if you use a linear wipe effect in After Effects you can create this cool rotating split screen effect showcasing the two different times of day, which is a great way to kind of show this contrast between what something beautiful looks like during the day and at night. And if the setup looks really weird, I apologize. I'm actually in the Maldives right now, shooting for some companies. So I am sweaty, four glasses of wine deep, and um, the lighting is kind of bad. But the tutorials never stop. Um, and this is a really cool effect, so I think you'll actually get a lot out of this. And of course, I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So, if you're filming this with a drone, there's two things you have to keep in mind. If you're shooting during the day and at night, you have to remember how high you went into the sky. So for example, this shot that I filmed, we made sure to remember that we filmed it at 200 feet high, going 33 miles per hour. So make sure that you're shooting at the same height and the same speed as you did for both clips. So essentially, you're just getting the same shot at night and during the day. And we're just gonna splice them together. And now we will open up After Effects. Bam! Um, I've already lined up my footage perfectly because if you follow these steps by shooting at the same height and the same speed, they will line up. So as I go through my composition here, you'll see if I make the top one disappear, it's like virtually the same shot every single time. So if I actually lower the opacity, you'll see that there's no overlapping. It's all perfectly lined up. Because if you actually look at my old Ferris wheel example, the horizon line is off. And so what I've learned since then is exactly what I'm telling you. Remember to film at the same height and the same speed or else you'll get kind of the problem that we see in the Ferris wheel video where the horizon lines don't match. And so, of course, these scenes are taking place in the Maldives, so we filmed these beautiful huts that are on the water. I'll rename this top clip to Night Villas. I'll rename the bottom one to Day Villas, and the rest is honestly so easy. The hardest part is just filming. If we go over in After Effects to Effects and Presets and type in Linear Wipe, You'll see linear wipe pop up and we'll choose the one under the transitions tab. Let's drag that on top of our first clip, which for me is night villas. I'll just show you really quick. If you scale the transition complete from zero to 100, you'll see that it's simply just a wipe effect. And so let's make sure that it's perfectly in the middle of our shot. So this is where we'll start. If we look back, you know you did a great job lining everything up if these two split screens kind of just recreate the same clip on either side. What we'll do, and this is super simple, is you'll create a keyframe for wipe angle and transition completion. So if you hit U to drop down the keyframes on your first clip, you'll see that we're starting with two keyframes. And we'll go over about five seconds. And if you just change your wipe angle, to negative 90, because we're starting at normal 90. Let's see what happens. So obviously we're looking at this and it looks pretty good, but it doesn't always stay exactly in the middle. So we're actually gonna have to create some keyframes for transition completion as well. So when you first start noticing that it's way off, like right here, we want it to be split screening in the middle of the entire video. So we'll just create a transition completion keyframe. Bam. And so now if we watch that back, over these two keyframes, the wipe will stay in the middle. And honestly, that's basically it. You can see a little bit of a jerk there. You see that? We don't like that. Right click on these keyframes and click Easy Ease. So let's see. It gets rid of it just a little bit and if it doesn't end exactly where you want it to, you can just redo your keyframes to where everything lines up in the middle. Bam. And I like this a lot. So this is essentially how you just create a linear wipe between day and night. 
It's just a couple of keyframes between wipe angle to get that spinning effect and transition completion to make sure the effect is actually being sliced in the middle like it is here. And see, like I told you, easy tutorial. All you have to do is just use linear wipe and basically create three to five keyframes. Also, I, I know I'm sweaty. I've been outside all day in the Maldives. It's just been crazy. And of course, you guys know what the deal is. Now I have to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. And so let's say you're a photographer. It's actually great if you use Squarespace because you can upload all of your favorite photos, all of your professional photos to their portfolios and galleries section. This allows you to display your work to the world in a professional manner because these are actually award-winning designer templates. So when you upload these photos into these templates, it just comes off really nice. People can look through them, scroll through them and just be like, wow, this person is amazing. And next, Squarespace lets you stay connected. What does that mean? Well, you can actually embed your SoundCloud into your website. So if you're a rapper, people can come to your website and find your music. Let's say you're a blogger and you have an Instagram with food. You can embed that into your website as well. So people can always come to your website and find you on other social medias. So you can always stay connected with Squarespace. And lastly, Squarespace Analytics. These are some of the most useful things in the entire world. You can check Squarespace's analytics to see who's coming to your website, who's buying your products, who's clicking on your embedded Instagram pages. Essentially, you'll know everything you need to know about your demographics and how to maximize your website retention, all from these numbers. I'm quite frankly not a smart person, and so the fact that Squarespace makes these number things so easy for me, chef's kiss. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And uh, of course, don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.